All right, I am out in the El Paso Mountains. I'm not entirely sure how far in I am. Um, that peak right there would be Red Mountain over there by Randsburg. Uh, I'm just doing some off-roading, probably some detecting, exploring, looking around. I came across this. There's a sign here that says Holland Camp. Um, one thing that caught my eye is, if you can see it, up on the hill here, there's a lot of mining. And uh, there's some more over here. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. I'm going to check it out a little closer. And uh, there's also some here. You can see there's some equipment up there. Uh, and also, since I plan on doing some detecting, it looks like there's a creek running down through here, or an old river. So I think I'm going to check that out with the detector and see how it looks. Um, I'll get as much on camera as I can. I'm just kind of... Just trying to have a good time today. It's beautiful out here. It's about 65 degrees, sunny, very little wind. It is nice. I am enjoying this. Good day today. Okay, there's where I was just at. And uh, off to the left here, there's a, there's a small vertical shaft here. There's a nice added right here. I'm going to go inside and check it out. It looks pretty cool. There's another um, vertical shaft here. It looks like it goes down pretty deep, but I'm going to check this one out. Uh, I don't know how far I'm going to go in just for safety reasons. I'm about myself, but, uh, I did take a quick peek in and it looks very interesting. Might be worth a look. Oh yeah. Wow. Uh, I may not be able to go any further. Uh, that's a shame. I want to get over there. Yeah, there's no... No way I'm going to try and climb over this. <laughs> that's a shame. I do see some... Uh, I see some daylight over there. I wonder if I can make my way over to the other side. And this obviously opens up. This is pretty cool. I'm going to go climb around and go to the other side. Okay, so... Uh, over there by my car is where I came in. That is the vertical shaft that I got stopped at. And this is the daylight that I saw. I guess there's not a way in, at least not that I've found so far. Uh, might have to get a couple people over here and uh, see if we can get a safe way across and check it out. But in the meantime, there's no way in hell I'm going down there. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, go check these guys out. Maybe I can find something interesting. Okay, I'm out of breath. All right, judging by this tellings pile here, um, there's a mine right there. I'm guessing this thing probably goes back 150, 200 foot deep or so. Maybe more, we'll see. Look at the size of this tank. I came up here and uh, wasn't expecting to uh, do any mine exploring today, so I left my waterproof boots in the car. Had to go get them. <laughs> there's a lot of water in the bottom here. Let's see what it looks like. <clears throat> Got my detector with me, so... Uh, Maybe it'll be good. I'm going to go ahead and leave the detector here at the entrance for now. Come on, you can do it. All right, let's see what we got. A little short in here. Maybe six feet at the highest point. Oh, I should come back up here with my pan. That might be worth panning a little bit. It is wet. Hey, footprints. I have no idea what they were mining in here. There's a lot of, uh, what looks like slate. Not really sure. Uh, there's some quartz. Doesn't look like anything too special. interesting is I don't see any tracks. There's no signs of tracks in here at all. 
It is very, very humid though. Sorry, I'm kind of looking around while I'm walking. Oh, I take it back. That could very well be tracks right there. I got some quartz with a lot of uh, what looks like sulfur staining. Might have to chip some of this out on the way out. Let's see what it looks like. I don't think there's an exit here. It's just really warm and humid in here, which is not good. There's no airflow whatsoever. I don't see any obvious signs of a, a vein that they were following because everything's running up and down the sides here. Boy, it has to be 30 degrees warmer in here than it is outside easily. I'm sweating just walking. This is interesting. Look at that. There's a lot of quartz. A lot of staining. I don't see much aside from maybe some sulfur. Or sulfides, rather. I'm starting to see a lot of sulfides. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to show up or not, but it's just all yellow. Hey, look, tracks. Right. <clears throat> wow. Gotta be a pretty old mine shaft. Look at this. All them sulfides leach it out. I wish this showed up as pretty as it is on the camera, or as pretty as it is in person on the camera here. It's very glittery. Oh, I think I found the end. Yep, this is the end. Can't even see the exit. All right, I'm gonna look around a little bit and then go uh, check out one of the other mines, see what they look like. All right, that was one heck of a hike up here. There was no road or trail or anything. I just had to make my way up. Uh, that tank right there is uh, the mine I was just at. You can see my car down here. Got a nice view up here. Very pretty. I see a few areas that were probably uh, mined at some point make note of them for next time uh, anyway I'm up at this uh, upper mine shaft here and uh, it's similar to what was down there you can see all the rocks are all vertical to the shaft or all the layers so I don't know 
how they determined where, what they were digging for or that there was anything here. Maybe they were just trying to get somewhere. But we'll go check this guy out. It looks like it's probably going to be pretty close to as deep as the other one was. Can't tell, but there may be some light back there. This is interesting. I really would like to know how they determined that there was anything worth digging for in here. Everything's still going in layers. Vertical. Was it not quite as deep? Lots of rats. What's up, little dude? All right, I didn't mean to scare you away. Run, little dude. All right, well, that was it. I'll climb back down and see what else I can find. This is that wash that I was talking about. I'm still trying to find a way down here. It looks somewhat promising. Um, I can see it. That is the camp I was at. Um, I already tried a road on the other side. It just got too rough. I had to back up and turn around. So uh, same thing with this road. It's um, not looking really all that promising, but there's the one on the right here. I'm gonna take that and see where it goes. That's the thing about exploring. You never know where you're gonna wind up. We'll see how it goes. I'm limited on time, otherwise I would just hike down here. It's uh, about three hours until it gets dark. It wouldn't leave me a lot of time to prospect once I got down there. So, uh, anywho, it's still a nice day. Well, I found what looks like a potentially good area to um, do some metal detecting here. It's an old cutout. There's a lot of river rock in it. It doesn't look like it was river bed. It looks more like it was like a mudslide or something. But uh, anywho, check this out. Ah, see, I'm not getting a non-ferrous target off of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and chip it out anyway and see what it looks like. Unfortunately, I don't have my uh, tripod, so uh, I won't be able to show you guys. All right, so you can see here, there's a lot of hot rocks and a lot of iron in the soil here. That's what was triggering it. Um, I had to re-ground re balance uh, to check the rest of the area, as you can see. it's uh, There's a lot of iron in it over here, too. But yeah, nothing there. Just, uh, just iron in the soil. Just a lot of it. Well, I did find one cool thing here. This guy. Unfortunately, after I got about a foot down or so trying to dig it out, I realized it's probably about 20 feet deep. <laughs> or 20 feet long, rather. But yeah, I don't have a shovel with me. Otherwise, I would go ahead and dig it. It's just not worth the effort with this uh, little pickaxe here. But yeah, time to find another place to detect. Man. I'm out of shape. <laughs> Look at this. Not a lot of driving today. Have not yet found a road that I can make it down that makes it to the creek down there. It uh, all just got washed out from the rains. So I've been just driving around, detecting a little spot here and there, wherever it looks good. Nothing special yet, but if I do get anything good, I'll obviously get it on camera. Okay, so I never made it around to uh, detecting in that creek. Uh, it got a little bit late and I ended up heading out. Uh, looking at the maps, I realized that just around the turn from where I was uh, at the old mines, there was a much larger mine. I believe it's called the Apache Mine, um, and that would be this guy right here. So I decided to drive out again today and uh, check it out. I don't know if it's accessible, 
I'm gonna find out real quick. Um, it's beautiful out here. There's a little bit of a storm coming in. It might rain. We'll see how that goes. And I did see a lot of areas to detect, a lot of dry creeks on my way in, and a lot of edits. Uh, so I'm not really sure what the day is going to look like, but uh, I'll try to keep it as interesting as I can. Well, that is rather disappointing. I hiked up to the top without my gear, and uh, it's a vertical shaft, and it goes down pretty darn far. Uh, which is a shame, because uh, <clears throat> this was supposed to be about 350 feet long into the mountain. I'm guessing you got to get down first, uh, but that's okay. It is what it is. Um, there's plenty of other areas to check out. For example, there's one right there. I might hike over and check that out. And then there's several along the way back. Um, and like I said earlier, there's still plenty of places to, to metal detect. So not a total loss, but uh, a little bit disappointing. Well, I did like anybody else would do and uh Decided to go raid their uh, remnants from their ore cart up there, uh, the ore chute. Uh, USGS says that in 1940, uh, they got several ounces of gold and tens of pounds of copper, however much that winds up being. But uh, this is the stuff I'm picking up. Uh, there could be gold in it. Uh, best I can tell, it's a lot of iron and maybe some silver, but uh, I'm not really... Uh, very good at identifying silver just yet. It was uh, one of the primary materials they were pulling out. I suspect anybody with a rock crusher would have a field day up here. I'll put it on my list for when I do get a rock crusher going. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna take my um, metal detector real quick before I get done here and go up and uh, run around on the area and see if I find anything. You never know. Okay, I didn't find anything with the metal detector, and I'm not really all that surprised, honestly. Uh, the report here was that it was a half a gram per ton for the gold. Um, I did find this piece of ore here, which looks really nice. There's uh, a lot of iron, there's some sulfide staining, uh, there's some iron pyrite visible with the eye loop, and some chalcopyrite. A um, little bit of quartz going through it here and there. Uh, and as best I can tell with the eye loop, could possibly be uh, some gold in it. For example, that area right there. I uh, won't know until I crush it up, but uh, I'm hopeful. Uh, it's funny because I always tend to uh, to look for quartz, and I always forget about this stuff. But this stuff can be pretty darn good as far as uh, finding gold and other stuff in it. All right. There is the mine I was at. Unfortunately, I went up the wrong side of the hill. And I had to hike my way back over here. There is a stay out, stay alive sign up, which is probably for a good reason. Um, let's see. Drop a rock down here. Yeah, that's relatively deep. All right. I don't know how deep this guy goes in, but we're going to find out. Sorry, got to get my flashlight. Don't have enough hands here. Well, it looks like somebody was using a torch in here at some point. I don't expect this one to go back very far, just judging by the tailings. But you never know what's in here, it could be something cool. like that's it. Not very deep. As usual, lots of rats. All right, well, we'll go find another one. Okay, I haven't quite gotten out of this place yet. Um, something caught my eye in this quartz here, and I've been smacking at it with a rock. I don't know why I didn't bring my rock camera with me. Uh, out it's going to show up on here but there is something whether it's copper or gold i'm not really sure kind of see it sorry right there um and i found 
several pieces on the inside of this quartz here as I've been chipping it away. Uh, yeah, using my uh, my trusty pocket knife here to break pieces off. But uh, when I get out in the sunlight, I'll see what it looks like. Could just be co copper, could be pyrite. Uh, but I'm going to take some with me regardless. We'll see what it looks like when I get out. Okay, it appears to be copper, as best I can tell. That doesn't mean there's not gold in it, so of course I'll go ahead and crush it up and see what it looks like. Sorry, I know it's windy. Alright, because I am incredibly stubborn, I went back up and chiseled out some more of that uh, ore uh, from that mine. Um, I noticed this on the way in. I'm going to go check it out. I don't think it's very deep, but uh, it's worth a uh, worth giving it a shot. I doubt it looks like it from the view on the camera here, but that is going to be a slippery climb. I'm going to spare you guys the uh, huffing and puffing. Um, just wanted to give you a view here before I go up. Looks like the storm passed by, which is awesome. All right, I am here. I just had a uh, hawk fly by me. Um, I got so distracted by the fact that I uh, couldn't go in the other mine, I forgot that I had brought some toys with me. I don't know if it'll show up on here, but that's pretty standard for background radiation levels. Uh, I'm curious to see how these mines end up being. A lot of the uh, granite mines that I've been in tend to be around 300 or so. Um, also, I brought a, a shortwave UV light. So we'll see if there's anything cool in here. I can't believe I forgot to use them in the other mines. Anyway, let's see. Let's see what things look like. Oh, this doesn't go back that far at all. I should have known with all the rat droppings at the entrance here. Boy, this was somebody's nest back here. Wow. There is somebody's nest back here. Jeez. All right, well, let's see. We'll try the UV light. Oh, better turn this other one off. My guess would be that's probably a vein of calcite. I don't know how well it's showing up on here. Yeah, that's what it appears to be. That's pretty cool. There's some more. I know it's not working all that great. There's too much visible light in here. Look at that. Oh, here's a big old chunk. Good way to determine calcite from quartz, that's for sure. And here's another vein. Oh, I don't think we're going to see much over here with all this light. Let's see what the... Uh, Let's see what the readings are in here. Well, surprisingly normal. There you go. Like I said, usually the granite mines end up being around 300 or better. All right, let's get out of here. It smells like rat pee. Well, I decided to go check out this uh, creek bed that I was looking at the other day. I don't know if there's going to be anything there, but it's worth a shot. At least it'll ease my curiosity. It'll take me a few minutes to get over there. I don't know how visible anything is going to be on here. Coming up on the uh, Holland Camp right now. Oops. <laughs> scratch, scratch something on the bottom there. Uh, anyway, it's a beautiful day. Couldn't ask for anything nicer. About uh, 70 degrees, pretty good for winter time. 
and uh, there's a light breeze, so it's not too warm. I'm loving it. All right, I made it. I know it's gonna be windy down here. Can't do much about it, unfortunately. Give you guys a quick view. And check this out. I know it doesn't mean much. But, uh, look at all that black sand. It got me kind of excited. What can I say? <laughs> There's a lot of it. All right, I'm going to metal detect. I know somebody's going to complain about the sightseeing, but uh, it is what it is. I think it's beautiful, honestly. I was uh, at the base of those mountains over there was where the uh, camp is. I wasn't really sure I was going to make it down here, honestly. It was kind of sketchy. Some interesting stuff up here. A very weak signal. Gold. Here's where it gets real tedious. <laughs> Can't find a place to set this metal detector down here. I sure hope this is gold. It's gonna be very big if it is. Actually, I believe it's further back this way. The tedious joys of metal detecting. Might have to go back to the car and get a pick. Did not anticipate digging in bedrock.
come back and show you what it is. That's how sensitive I have this thing set. Look at that. Maybe a little piece of buckshot. Not gonna miss any gold, that's for sure. I just wanted to show how beautiful this was. I'm down in a little uh, canyon here. I'm not having too much luck detecting. Lots of hot rocks. But yeah, look at that. I'm probably gonna call it a day here in a few minutes. It's getting dark. This is just something else. No sense in detecting here, it's like a foot of sand. Pretty. I didn't expect there to be so much sandstone up here. Let's see what's over on the other side real quick before I call it a day. Yeah. Well, unless I find something amazing on the way back, that's going to be it. I hope everybody enjoyed watching. I know I had a pretty good time looking around, checking everything out. I got to find a new spot now. Bumpy road. <laughs>